Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ronka and I create content on travel, career, and godly living. If that sounds like your sort of thing, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the good stuff. In today's video, I'll be sharing some productivity tips that I've been using as a new mom. So about a year ago, my husband and I had a baby girl and I feel like my productivity tanked. Um, it was really a hard adjustment for me to make because I pride myself a lot on being super productive, being reliable, being you know consistent, all of that. And things really changed and you know it took me a bit of time to find my new rhythm and be able to understand just really what this new role meant and how much of an impact it had on other things so in this video I'm sharing the tips that I've learned along the way that I hope will also be helpful for those of you who are in a similar situation one of the first things that I had to do was to reframe my mindset reframing my mind means that I need to redefine like what I feel the goal of my productivity is meant to be Chances are I'm never going to be the same level of productive I was prior to having a child, which is fine, but now it's for me to define it in a different way and make sure that I feel comfortable with what I can do instead. The second thing is to extend grace to yourself. Initially, I just felt so bad because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do this, or I'm going to be late to this thing, or this or that. And once again, when you have another person that you are responsible for, yes, you can plan, you can do so many things, and you should plan and do all of those things, but things happen. You know, there's so many times where you want to go out, you're prepared, you've packed ahead of time, everything is ready, you're about to take your child out and have a blowout. You got to change that diaper. Or you've prepared, you've planned, and your child just does not want to wake up from their nap. Or you've prepared, you've planned, you just need them to take a nap real quick before you leave and they don't want to take a nap. So I had to really learn to kind of extend grace to myself and just really understand that a lot of things are outside of my control. And so for me, I had to start learning how to be a little bit more patient, even with myself such that even if I feel like maybe I dropped the ball in doing something to get us ready, then I'm not necessarily holding it against myself and beating myself for, up for it. As a new mom, as a new parent, as a caretaker, there are some things you're probably still learning along the process, even if it's not your first time around. So you really do have to be willing to extend grace to yourself. The third thing that I really learned in this season is to delegate, delay, or drop. I feel like there's a lot of things that I do, whether for myself or even outside of my personal life, um, whether it is at work or whether it's, you know, in other areas of life, like at church. And for me, I love, like I said, I, I love doing, okay? I like to just get things done. I like to make sure that things are done. But I really learned more in the season to delegate. Um, you know, delegating is important because when you delegate, delegating means that you're identifying someone who is just as skilled, if not more skilled than you, and you're giving them this work to do. And the importance of that is it can still get done. Maybe they might need a little bit more guidance, maybe they might need some encouragement, but they're able to do it. And so I've really learned to give away the things that I don't have to do. So there are some things that you don't really even need skill for, you just need a body to do it, right? So maybe someone to help you sweep, or someone to help you wash the dishes, or someone to help you load the dishwasher. I've really learned how to start asking for help and delegating certain things that I just know I don't have the bandwidth to do. I've also learned to delay some certain things. There's some things that maybe I just don't have the time to do right now, right? Maybe I want to make a phone call. I might delay it until I know that maybe I'm in the car and I'm already going to be out and about. And so that's a good time to do it. Or maybe I need to, um, maybe I need to cook and I might delay it until a time where maybe I know that I have a little bit more help around so that if I'm cooking and the baby needs attention, someone else can get to her, right? Um, and then there are some things that I've just had to drop. In this season, I have just embraced, and it's so hard for me to do, but I've really embraced being able to stop doing things that I just know I can't continue. You know, at the end of the day, my 24 hours that I had before I had a baby are the same 24 hours I have after having a baby. And so now that she takes up more of my time, unfortunately, some other things that took up time before, I had to let them go. And so I've had to become comfortable with being able to assess different things and determine what can I delegate, what can I delay, what can I drop? And then if none of those apply, what then do I have to do? For me, another thing that I was doing, and this is something that I've actually done even prior to being a mom, but one thing I really actually like to do is to time myself. I am slightly competitive, <laughs> slightly competitive with myself as well. But I found that whenever I can time myself on doing tasks, it helps me in two different ways. Number one, I'm on a timer, and so I know that I have a set amount of time to accomplish this task or to get further along in the task. And so it really helps me to focus. Number two, it helps me to also know for the future how long it might take me to do this task. So let's say I'm um, trying to wash the baby bottles, right? And maybe I have to wash all the bottles and all of her like 
you know, bowls and, and little jars that I use for her food. If I know that maybe I can wash the bottles in like five, 10 minutes, but now I have to wash everything together. If I time myself and let's say I give myself 15 minutes to do it all and I see that I'm able to accomplish most of it in 15 minutes, that helps me to know in the future if I have 20 minutes before maybe she's supposed to wake up next or 20 minutes before you know she gets back, then it gives me that amount of time that I know that I can use towards that task. The next thing I like to do is to take advantage of peak energy. Now this really, for me, ties back to the last example. So let's say that I've timed myself and I say, hey, you know, I wanna wash the baby bottles and give myself about 15 minutes to do it. If I start doing it and I'm just really on a roll, I might continue to do it even after the timer stops, as long as I don't have something else pressing that I have to do at that moment, right? So going back again to the drop, delay, delegate. If it's something that I can delay that's coming up after, I'll delay it a little bit so I can finish what I'm doing if I know that that's like peak energy for me. This is helpful for me because it also makes sure that I'm not switching between tasks. You know, I've mentioned it before in a prior video that I personally don't like multitasking. I just don't think it is truly, truly achievable because a lot of times you spend time switching between tasks that you could actually be using towards the task. So for me, if I feel that I'm already on a roll and it would take more time to stop and start something else and then come back to whatever I'm doing, I'll just continue doing it just to finish it up and then move on to the next task. Finally, for me as a new mom, one of the things that I'm really embracing is just doing it with the baby. There are so many activities and so many different things that I've been trying to do or that I try to do and I'm like, okay, I just need me time, I just need to focus, I just have to do it and, and get it done. And it's hard. If you always wanna wait until you have the perfect time or the perfect opportunity to do things, you will seldom do things. And so I've learned how to allow her to help me or just kind of have fun in the process of me doing things. So one thing is laundry. Um, there are some times where maybe if I'm like folding her clothes, I will just let her play in the room. So she might literally just be throwing out the clothes, the same clothes that I'm trying to fold as I'm trying to fold them, but it's fine. And I could probably fold a little faster than she can throw. So we get it done at the end of the day. Um, for me, this is also very convenient for times where maybe I need to run errands. I need to run to the mall. I need to run to the grocery store. I can throw her in the car, not throw her in the car. I can place her in her car seat in the car with me and then we can go out, run the errands that we need to run and come back. So you don't always have to try to also plan around the baby. I think that you can also include your baby in some of these things you're doing. And it's good because it also gives you the time to bond with your baby. I remember in the earlier days when she was still very, very little and I would sometimes wrap, like wear a baby wrap and just kind of baby wear around the house to get some stuff done. And so it, it just felt nice because once again, it was bonding. I got to, you know, have some like physical contact with her but then it also helps me to be productive. Moving forward, I'm trying to be mindful of how I define my productivity and how, and how strict I am on being productive. I really just wanna make sure that I'm accomplishing the goals and also giving myself some downtime in between, right? I'm really beginning to understand that spending time with my child in and of itself is also productive. So as you're going through whatever life season that you're in and as you're dealing with maybe whatever might be on your plate, Begin to look at things differently and also remember that taking care of yourself, taking care of your loved ones is also productivity. That's all I have for today's video. Please make sure to like this video, share with others, and subscribe to my channel for more travel, career, and God's living content. See you in the next one.